It's cross potent, a place where magical people meet. Today I'd like to talk about another spirit animal, and that's the moth. It's very re closely related to the butterfly. The butterfly um, concerns things of the day, and the moth would concern things of the night. It's more of a, a nocturnal influence. And being influenced by the night, that means it's closely related with the moon. And um, I'm going to show you one little moth over here came to visit. And this is a, um, a creature being of the night that's uh, closely related to um, the shadows of our personality and our psychic awareness. The things that are hidden beneath the surface in the darkness. Um, our intuitive perceptions and um, our vulnerabilities emotionally. Um, often when a, a moth appears or comes to visit, this could be a, a sign that it's time to work on shadow work. It could also mean that, um, that there's something uh, being disguised. Another theme with the moth is the idea that um, of concealment and um, hiding in the shadows. Sometimes a uh, moth can mean uh, that there's something hiding in the shadows. It could be uh, a warning even if your intuition might make you think that. Um, another thing in, uh, related to uh, invisibility and disguise is the idea of an invisibility cloak. And I've looked into this extensively in the alchemy uh, field and in uh, folklore and other various uh, different mythologies. And, you know, I was thinking, oh, to, to be invisible, to have an invisibility cloak, I considered different possibilities of whether uh, being invisible means you're not actually seen like light goes right through you or people see something else besides seeing you it's as if you're there but possibly you're cloaked to look as if you are something else so there's two different ways you can look at invisibility cloaks um, another theme of invisibility cloaking that I've discovered is along the lines of making time stand still and I'm not going to get into that in this video, but that is a whole other branch of uh, spell work or uh, magic. Um, today I just wanted to talk about uh, some of the interesting things I found about invisibility cloaks. Uh, one thing, uh, there's an old gypsy, uh, uh, you could say, spell about how to make a, um, an invisibility cloak. An actual cloak that's an invisibility cloak. And it talks about um, putting bird feathers on a hooded gown and making an invisibility cloak that way that has an enchantment about it. An enchantment that um, tends to uh, make people think they're seeing something that's not there. Uh, seeing something other than what is there. And uh, that's an interesting idea to keep in mind if you're <coughs> casting spells or doing spell work or anything along those lines. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, keep in mind, if your little friend comes to visit, that um, this could be a sign that, um, that there are emotional things at work. Um, it would be similar to the ideas if you had a dream about a moth. Um, the idea of a... Um, moth coming to visit you uh, in your dreams is very similar to the actual moth coming to visit you. So I hope this has been enlightening and if you like videos like this you can um, see my more of them on YouTube on my channel Cross Potent. Thanks.